these unidentified flying objects inspired the development of Nazi flying discs. After World War II, the underground base at Nordhausen was rebuilt in the Mojave Desert, a place we now know as Area 51. A tremendous sighting took place, and we, I'm just completely baffled right now. Uh, so is uh, Mr. Anthony Hilder. Example of one of the many objects seen regularly in Las Vegas, a um, very bright object just uh, basically hovering over Las Vegas, um, 5.30 p.m. Um, cylindrical uh, object, a craft. We believe it could be some kind of an observation uh, uh, platform. Uh, uh, the volume of evidence is that the space program that appears on the television news uh, and has done these last few decades is actually only there as a, um, uh, a movie to um, hide the real program, um, which is um, actually uh, uh, exploring things that uh, these guys already know are there. There's this secret agenda in which um, advanced knowledge that people uh, in general never hear is passed on to the chosen ones that um, are chosen to have this information and to move it through the generations. Uh, the agenda for centralized control and all that stuff. Um, and then there's the movie, which is there to hide all that. And the movie is the official version of events that pours out of the television. They're being sold a cover story to hide what's really going on, not just in terms of the space program, but in every area of our lives. I mean, what is the more classic and obvious cover story than weapons of mass destruction, we've got to go and get them. And uh, well, clearly, you know, we see it was a cover story now. If you had a brain, you could see it was before. I've said in my latest book, um, uh, Tales from the Time Loop, that um, we're looking at the Fourth Reich and then I put under that brackets, or a continuation of the third, which never ended. People have no idea in the general population, because no one tells them, of the fundamental connections between the Nazis. The people now think, oh yeah, the Nazis are gone, and the American administration. First of all, um, the Nazis were funded uh, out of Britain and America. Um, why is it that they were taking their wages home in wheelbarrows during the Weimar Republic? Germany was in economic catastrophe. A few short years later, they have a war machine that's taking on the world. How did this come about? Anyone ask? Um, well, let's, uh, let's ask the Bush family. Because, um, and this is not just me, other researchers have come up with this, and a guy called John Loftus, who is the, uh, he runs the Holocaust Museum in Florida that um, Prescott Bush, who is the grandfather of the present president, um, he was a major executive of the Harriman Empire in America. And they had a company called the Union Banking Corporation, the UBC, which interfaced with the uh, banking and uh, steel empire in Europe of a guy called Fritz Tyson, who was named at places like the Nuremberg trial and elsewhere as a major funder of Adolf Hitler and the Nazis. And what Prescott Bush, who was, who was the key executive in the Union Banking Corporation was doing, was funneling money and other resources through the UBC into Tyson's empire, and then it went to the, to the Nazis, and that's where the war machine came from, also through the Bank of England. Only yesterday, every business, every profession was part of Hitler's system. The doctors, technicians, clockmakers, postmen. Practically every German was part of the Nazi network. They believe they were born to be masters, that we are inferiors, designed to be their slaves. Um, a number of companies in which Prescott Bush was involved in uh, were closed down during the Second World War under the Trading with the Enemies Act. Um, William S. Farish, whose grandson is now Bush's ambassador 
to uh, Britain, William S. Farish III, a uh, very close friend and uh, horse interbreeder with the Queen of England. Um, his grandfather, um, uh, William S. Farish, um, was president of Standard Oil, the Rockefeller Oil Company, when it was um, exposed as supplying the Nazis with oil during the Second World War, while you know, they were supposedly in conflict with America. And so what you had then was this um, uh, CIA, British intelligence operation, called Project Paperclip, which was to get the Nazis, the major Nazis, with all, and, and a lot that w with tremendous knowledge that are not uh, registered by history, out of Germany, so they would be safe, and into South America and North America to continue this agenda um, up to the present day. And so this is why you have Nazi after Nazi turning up as founders of, of, and creators of NASA and all these other institutions, the CIA, that appeared immediately after the Second World War. Engine ignition at 8.9 seconds. 